little bit. I walked on up and I said, uh, how you doing? I'm down yesterday. He said, sorry, kid, I'm out of Doritos. And I said, uh, no, I just wanted to say hello. I'm on the show Frank's Place with Tim Reed. That's right. I remember we talked. That's right. That's yeah. right. And, you, and you said, good, uh, nice meeting you. Maybe one day we'll do the show together. That's right. Well, there you are. Yeah, well, I good am. talking to you. My next guest. No, no, that's great. That's great. <laughs> uh, now, you know something. Since I, I watched you on Frank's Place, your accent seems to have gotten better or, or worse, depending if you're from New Orleans. Uh, it's not as strong as it used to be. I can actually understand you now. Uh, uh, well, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's funny, but uh, on some <laughs> of the episodes of uh, Frank's Place, uh, when I used to speak, they would have words that would appear onto my, me as I was talking. I was subtitled. <laughs> so I, uh, I have the dubious distinction of being the first English-speaking actor on American television with English subtitles. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I, you know, I, 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 well, I did Tulane. And I used to play a lot of the places downtown in New Orleans. And, and see, I like the South because of the expressions. People have that uh, just, just way of talking. I mean, I was talking to an, an elderly woman the other day who I called for something, and she's from the South, and she said... Uh, can I say this? She said, well, it was so quiet, it was like a mouse peeing on cotton. And I, I, just, I just thought that was a great expression. I mean, because I, mean, I like language, and, and, and Southern people use language very well. I like that one, but I got a few more. It's, uh, I remember sometimes uh, when you're depressed, you say, uh, I'm lowering in a snake's belly in a wagon rut. You know? Snake's belly in a wagon rut. You do that well. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just mimicking. I mean, and uh, sometimes I'm you try to look inconspicuous, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, you might say you stuck out like a bobo on a newborn's baby's butt. A bobo on a newborn baby's butt. A bobo. You know, <laughs> like a little bit of acne. Oh, 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 oh. Of course. How foolish of me. Now, you see, of course, now... Rather than just have... say that baby has a little bit of acne, sure, if you would, you would say... <laughs> If you would happen to meet someone uh, as good-looking as Valerie, you'd mm -hmm. say, uh, she's so cute, she'd make a rabbit hug a hound dog. Make a rabbit hug a hound dog? Yeah. That's and she would compliment. quickly walk the other way, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's well, let me work. ask you about this. Let me ask you about this. Okay, you're in Hollywood, kind of a hip, slick town. You see uh, kind of uh, Catherine Deneuve sitting over there. You walk over, you say, wow, that gal would make a rabbit when I hug a hound dog. <laughs> no, or you might want to try and use your butt as cute as a speckled pup, doll. A speckled, a speckled, no, no, no. about as cute as a speckled about pup. A, about as cute as a speckled pup. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. the French love that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah how did, let me ask you, though. How did these work? I mean, now you're a single guy, right? I mean, you, you mean... Well, actually, after you, uh, after these sayings come out, I'll probably be a lonely guy. <laughs> But when you meet women and you approach them with this technique of uh, you look like a dog spotted. No, not dogs. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was it? A, a speckled pup. I'm sorry. Yeah, this whole thing is just hit me, uh, you know, thing. Proverbial. Oh. Uh, the bobo. Yeah, that's but, but, but how do you do? But how do you do when you, when, when you meet... Is it different? Are the California women different than New Orleans? Because New Orleans is a pretty wild town. Are the yeah, women different? Or? Well, yeah, a little different. I remember I had a date one time, and we were out, and uh, this gal pulls out like... This is here or New Orleans? Yeah, here. Oh, she yeah. pulls out like crystals and, and, and puts them on the table and starts like dinging bells and ding, ding, ding. And I'm saying, hey, gee, after I dropped her off, I was walking down the street. I was talking to myself, looking like a neurotic with an affliction after... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I said, I don't know about this, you know, and a few more, you know, and then he's kind of independent out here, you know, you pick him up and you say, uh, we're going to go have some pizza, you know, and uh, maybe go to a movie. I don't like dramas and I don't eat pizza, you know, and I'm going, yeah, Ooh. gee, this, this isn't mm. working out real well. Yeah. She's as ornery as a, uh, <laughs> a speckled pup in a wagon run, huh? Yeah, boy. I'm telling you. <laughs> now, are you, uh, see... See, you like me. You, no, you, you seem like a pizza guy. Do you like to go to... Maybe she wanted to go to... Well, you, like you know, the thing, I'm going to tell you something. Dating, dating is, is very, very tough. And, and, and I must say this. Uh, you're very fortunate because you have a very lovely wife. I had dinner with your wife one night. You had dinner with my wife? Well, when did you have dinner with my wife? <laughs> you on the road. I mean... Well, you'll be hanging high. You didn't think the pu speckled pup line worked, did no, you? No, no, I didn't think it worked. <laughs> so when, when did you meet my wife? No, no, I, no, no, I'm sorry. It was, it was, I, I had some friends of mine who are good friends. With, whew, boy, I'm trying to get out of this one. I had some good friends who are good friends with your wife, uh, Mavis, right? Right, right, Mavis, yeah. my wife. Right. Okay. That's oh, I, it. Oh, I, oh, I, <laughs> no, I was saying you're a lucky guy. 
Because yeah, you don't have that to I was out of town when you <laughs> had dinner with my wife. Yeah. Well, you sound like the lucky guy. You. Wait, wait, but the thing is, is you don't have to worry about all this dating stuff and going right, to these right. fancy restaurants and trying wine and dining. I guess that's worry about getting an attorney now. Yeah. <laughs> You ever go to these fancy restaurants and you uh, order a plate of food and you get a big pile of parsley over here and a big tomato over here and you got a little chunk of fish in the corner right here? I know, that's, that's right. You're that's... starving after you leave the restaurant. You get a Whopper or Doritos. Right. right. Well, Fred, see, Fred, Fred enjoys these fancy restaurants. See, to me, I like to go just, you know. You know, what's another thing that gets me about is, is, is they all come up to you and I'll say, uh, you want some of this fresh ground pepper? No, I'll just use the stale stuff on the table. What do you mean? Because I need fresh ground pepper. Can you I've, get... I've been using this stuff for 30 years. All of a sudden, I need fresh ground pepper. Yeah. Boy. Can you get Can you get good New Orleans style food here? Do you like? What do you eat? No. Is well, it different? It, or you... Oh, it's real different. As yeah. a matter of fact, I just had some friends of mine out from uh, from New Orleans, and mm -hmm. one of them's a chef, Andrew Yeager, who has uh, Fitzgerald's down in New Orleans, which is one of the largest seafood restaurants mm -hmm. in New Orleans. And he came on out, and we did a uh, big buffet for uh, for the uh, cast on My Two Dads. Uh. And uh, we had like a crawfish etouffee. Crawfish etouffee. Crawfish etouffee. <laughs> uh oh. It's uh, steamed crawfish put over better rice. And we oh, had, that sounds uh, good. Yeah, and we had eggplant fish. Also, too, uh, he created a little pasta dish. Hmm. And he, he named it after me, uh, you know, was, and I'm on the menu. I understand you have a pasta dish. Yes, I do. I do, but what is Maybe your, we but could have dueling pasta one dueling time. Dueling pasta one? Yeah. An alligator? Don't you eat alligator? Oh, uh, yeah, a little alligator sauce piquant. Really, is that good? Oh, it's very good. You ever had alligator? Uh, oh, just put your fingers it. in there. No, no, never, uh, never had it. No, it's, it's a little tough. It's a little you tough. have to catch your own, like lobster. Yeah. Or... <laughs> and the nice thing is, when you, when... I didn't know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm from Wisconsin. What do you when you finish eating, you can make a pair of shoes. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back after this. Dinosaur.